Hi, it's Kylie from Paint Wing. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to paint a chipmunk with watercolors. I will start off this painting by painting the eye. For the eye, I'll be using Prussian Blue and Payne's Gray by the brand Daniel Smith. I'll mix these two colors together to get a bluish gray colored paint. As for a brush, I'll be using something small, such as a 3 over 0 or number 0 round brush. I'll start the eye by adding a light layer of gray paint to the top portion. In order to get the paint nice and light, I'll be adding quite a bit of water to it. Next, I'll outline the rim of the eye with a saturated amount of gray paint until it appears almost black. While I paint the eye, you'll notice I'm leaving some areas white. These are the areas of the eye where there is a highlight. After outlining the eye, I will then dip my brush into clean water and blend out the harsh line to create a gradient. I'm also going to add some gray paint outside of the eye. Let this area dry and move on to the brown fur. Here I am using raw umber. I'll add a light layer to chipmunk's nose. And then I'll add some around the eye. The area immediately outside of the eye is white. So I'm just going to be leaving it the color of the paper. Here I am adding some yellow ochre paint to warm it up, and then I'll continue adding a very light layer of brown. and then dab some burnt umber into this area while it's still wet. You'll notice that the pigment diluted a little bit. Here I'm adding a little bit of burnt sienna, which is a burnt orange color. What I'm painting now is just the under layer. I am intentionally leaving the area pretty light because I'll build up the color through multiple paint layers.
Now I am using a larger round brush to cover the chipmunk's body in a light layer of burnt umber. While this area is still wet, I'll add a saturated amount of burnt sienna and then burnt umber. With the burnt umber, I'm creating the lines on its back. Now I'll sprinkle in a little salt and allow this area to completely dry. Now that the first layer is dry, I'll go back into the areas surrounding the eye. Here I'm using my 3 over 0 round brush again and painting some fur lines. I will also add some fur marks using my burnt sienna paint as well. Now I'm going to soften the lines I just created by taking a wet brush and blending it out. Here I'm adding a second light layer of diluted brown paint. I will add this paint to the face and body. I'm not going to paint the light area between the stripes. Now let's let the second layer dry. Now that this layer is dry, I'll be painting some details on the chipmunk's ear, again using my small brush dipped into a saturated amount of brown paint. After I add some paint, I'll add some water to my brush and gently blend it out. Here I'm adding some more burnt umber to darken this area. I will also add some burnt sienna over here. A 
few small fur details here. I'm also going to outline some of the areas on the head. This area here is a little reddish, so I'll keep adding layers of burnt sienna. To warm the whole area up, I'll add a light layer of yellow ochre. This adds some depth to the color. and then a little yellow ochre over here, and then just blend it out using a clean wet brush. And then some brown to the ear. The chipmunk's arm also needs some definition. The fur is white on the underside of his arm, so I'll instead add some shadows below the arm. For the feet, I'm going to add some brush marks to imply that there are feet here, instead of creating full details. I kind of like when my paintings look like they fade out. Now for the tail, I'll first add some burnt sienna paint and then some Payne's Gray. While this area is still wet, I'll take my small brush and drag the wet paint outwards to create fur texture.
Now let's let the tail dry and see what it looks like. Now that I got the tail done, I'm going to add some fur texture to the arms. I'll first draw out some fur lines. Because these are a little bold, I'll then soften the lines using my brush dipped into water. And then I'm going to trace around the chipmunk's paws using my Payne's Gray. This area over here needs a little bit more orange, so again I'll be adding a layer of burnt sienna. And then some burnt umber over here. Even more brown here. I still think the arms could use a little bit more hair, so I'm going to draw some more on. The belly and leg area is white, but I still want to create some shadows. Lastly, I'll paint on some whiskers using my smallest brush dipped into Payne's Gray. And here's the final result. I'll have the photo reference and drawing template on my Patreon this week for those who are subscribed. If you paint this piece and share it online, remember to tag me. Thank you so much for watching.